Now, last night we heard about a sharp rise in the number of modern slaves who are being rescued here in the East Midlands. Well, today, organisations across Nottinghamshire unveiled an ambitious campaign to stamp it out. They've made a series of pledges at a local farm where the owner discovered that two of his workers were being exploited for money by their landlord. Here's our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball. If you're buying a pumpkin for Halloween, there's a good chance it will have been grown here on Hammond's farm. But a few months ago, they unearthed something really frightening here, the horrors of modern slavery. John Hammond blew the whistle after a chance conversation at a Christmas party. Two of his agency workers here in Arnold weren't getting their wages because their bank accounts were being controlled by their violent landlord. Simon Brzezinski was eventually jailed, an eight-year sentence for modern slavery and fraud. It was horrible. We pride ourselves in being uh, an extraordinarily ethical business and to find that, that this was going on literally under our noses. And they've been with us for three years by unscrupulous people that don't want to work for a living. That's shocking. Hey guys, straight in for us. Today, John was joined by a bishop, a professor and representatives from the police and councils in Nottinghamshire who've signed a series of pledges to tackle modern slavery. We've been providing research to help Nottingham and Nottinghamshire become the world's first slavery-free community. And it's all the frontline service providers being trained, and not just the obvious ones, not just the police and the NHS, but people who are inspecting um, electri electricity meters. They're going into people's homes that might see things, taxi drivers. It's people being being held as if they are property, who are paid nothing, who can be traded and sold. I have some concerns with a group of men over there. This new film's designed to help employers spot the signs of modern slavery, workers who are withdrawn, scared or hungry. It's part of a training package from the Nottingham-based Gangmasters and Labour Abuse Authority. And the local bishop's setting up courses for churchgoers so they can spot and report suspicions about modern slavery. We know that the problem's growing. People can't believe that it's happening uh, on their doorsteps, um, around the corner. And the church recognises that it's present in every community and can make a difference. But John Hammond's worried that the introduction of new immigration controls could simply make the problem worse. I have huge concerns about Brexit and if there is a significant barrier to having non-British nationals available to our industry and others, then by definition, the, um, the demand for labour will go further and further and further underground. The two victims that John helped rescue are now safely back in Poland, and now other employers are being urged to follow his lead and protect their workers from modern slavery. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottinghamshire.